Hello, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Luke chapter 6 and verse 19. It says, The whole multitude sought to touch him, for power, power went out from him and healed them all. He lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, Blessed are the poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall see and be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, when they exclude you, when they revile you, cast your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day, leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner your fathers did uh, to the prophets. And so, I, you know, when I look at anything like this, I remember coming into the body of Christ and in James uh, chapter one, it says, count it all joy when you fall into trials and testings and, and persecutions. And, I, you know, you look at that and you say, how can we count it joy? And so here it says, you know, blessed are the poor for theirs is the kingdom of God. You know, so poor here, but there's something ahead, right? Blessed are you hunger now. He says now for what? You will be filled. In other words, this isn't the end of it. Your current state of affairs here on earth isn't the end of it. There's something greater ahead. You're going to be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, right? So for you shall laugh. In other words, today in this world, on this earth, in your life, there's reason to weep, uh, whatever that may be. But be assured that one day you're just going to laugh for eternity. It says, and blessed are you when men hate you, okay, when they exclude you. In other words, they, they don't include you, but they exclude you. When they revile you, when they cast you out as a, as a name, as evil. In other words, they associate you with evil for the son of man's sake, because you're serving God. He said, rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for indeed your reward is great in heaven. In like manner, their fathers did to the prophets. In other words, he's saying, you know, you, you, what you're experiencing today, and he goes through hunger and weeping and poor poverty now, but also being persecuted now and having tribulation now, he's saying there's something ahead. And so in the day where you are persecuted, you should leap for joy. You should, you should be happy. And, you know, why? Because understand something, we are eternal. This life is nothing compared to eternity. If we suffer for Jesus, if we, are, we suffer tribulation or persecution or being excluded or being hated for the name of Jesus, and Jesus said that was coming, we have a great reward in heaven based on how we handle it, right? I mean, one of the things that we do is we reveal God, we reveal the glory of God. You know, I always remember in John 20, I believe it's in John 20 or maybe John 21, where Jesus tells Peter how he would glorify God and glorify him in Peter's death. Well, Peter's death, he was crucified upside down. And so everybody around him thought he was a loser. Everybody around him thought, wow, look at the way he's being executed. Same as Jesus on the cross. And so, but in the meantime, what he was doing was glorifying God because he didn't accept deliverance by denying Jesus. He preached Jesus and they executed him. He didn't want to be executed right side up as Jesus did. He didn't think he was worry, worthy. So he asked for them to be executed upside down. We glorify God in those moments of weakness and moments of trials and the moments of persecution, tribulation, hatred, scorning because of the name of Jesus, because we're Christians. That's why the world's going to hate us. But Jesus said you should be so happy. You should leap for joy because of the rewards that we have in heaven. In other words, eternally, God sees it. The, the, the demonic realm sees it. And in that, we have great rewards. You know, we are so fixated on making our lives comfortable here, living in comfort here, living in peace here, that we sometimes don't understand that the greatest glory and the greatest eternal rewards that we can have is to if they actually suffer here. I mean, it's a whole different way of thinking. I know, I understand probably what you're thinking, but understand we are eternal. We serve a Lord and a King in a different kingdom and a different realm. And so anything we do to glorify him here on earth is a reward in heaven. So thank you for joining us today. You can become a free member on our website, join as a free member, you know, uh, get all of our information sent to you by email. It's, it's free. Or you can join us as a partner for $25 a month or more. Certainly look into downloading our free phone app. Hopefully you were inspired today. You learned something today. 
God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you for another episode very soon. God bless.